Hi, this is Randy Schooneman with Bulldog Rooter. I'm out here with David Lane and Levi Kathman at 1523 South Adams Street in Spokane, Washington. Looks like the houses in this area all are on a private sewer on the, uh, according to the schematic on the uh, east side of Adams. And uh, right now we're at about uh, 87 and a half feet. I cannot get any further. I don't know if that's from restrictions in the line, but we've cabled this. Uh, we got stuck in a back water valve that uh, we didn't know existed in the uh, uh, basement floor uh, and we're uh, video inspecting through the uh, uh, inspection lid at the back water valve. So we're going to start pulling back, see what the condition of this line is. Like I mentioned, we're about 87 and a half feet. There's a little bit of uh, root intrusion here and uh, we're going to start pulling back and see what the rest of this line looks like. Actually, we're closer to 85. I had a lot of slack in there. There's still a little bit of root buildup here at this uh, transition where it goes from 4 inch, it looks like, to 6 inch. Uh, bottom of the pipe aspect wise is going to be where the water's sitting. If there's no water, uh, it will be where the uh, light is at on this camera. Uh, we have a little separation here, uh, a little bit of remnant root growth. Ooh, here's a uh, pretty heavy root growth. Let me go forward a little bit. We're looking at a ceramic tile line. A little bit more root growth in here. We might want to cable this a second time with a bigger blade. Uh, yeah, because there's still quite a bit of roots in here. A lot of debris in this line might be a better application actually for a jetter, but uh, we'll just keep pulling back here. It looks like we've got just uh, a lot of sludge left over in the line and roots that aren't attached to anything. Just leftover roots from cabling. Uh, we just passed the 70 foot mark and we're continuing to pull back. We've got a pretty good root intrusion here still. bit of an elbow. Let's see. Yeah, big red intrusion there. And it looks like it could possibly be a fitting. Right here, my camera lens is about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter in diameter. Right here, uh, we've got a little bit of water draining out. But uh, you can see here from this pool of water that it actually has to drain slightly uphill in order to drain out. It is a short section like that, thankfully. And just some more remnant roots there. There's a fair amount of cracking and pitting in the line. in there still. We just passed the 60 foot mark and we're pulling back. Uh, another remnant root intrusion around that hub. Another one there. Yeah, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to cable this again. Just past the 50 foot mark. Continuing to pull back. Yeah, we've got a lot of root intrusions at these hubs here. Uh, so that's a big one there, still left over. We were able to puncture it to get it to drain. We've done about five or six toilet flushes. Uh, coming up on 40 feet right here. Uh, some more roots. Standing water here, not too much. Uh, bottom of the pipe just flip flopped to the upper part. Now, right here, we have another pretty sizable area of positive grade where the water actually has to come up. 
to go down the drain. Right here we're under water so we don't know how deep it is. Let's see, that was about 31 feet. And we're out of it here at about 29 feet. So there's about a two foot belly there in that one section, continuing to pull back. Um, on the right there, it looks like we may have a breach in the line uh, in the upper right hand corner. Uh, definitely miss aligned pretty severely there and that right there has a, a crack in the line it looks like uh, it's just an earthworm there but he's uh, actually going down between the pipe uh, where there's a fracture unfortunately into the earth uh, here's a pretty severe offset on the line uh, Hopefully we'll see another little more normal looking line. Here's, here's a pretty normal hub. You can see how it's aligned all the way around where they inserted the pipe into the hub before they sealed it. Uh, a little bit of a root intrusion there. Uh, continuing to pull back. We're at about 20 feet right now. Continuing to work our way back in. And it looks like, go forward here. That's tile. And right here, it looks like we've made the jump from tile to iron. So we're about at the foundation wall, continuing to pull back. Normal pitting of the iron, real typical to see. There's our 10 foot mark. And right here, we have a, like a section of ABS, where there is possibly a spot repair done, or the, hmm, interesting, because we've got an iron back water valve with ABS on the other side of it, which is really unusual. Here's the back water valve that we're working through in the family room downstairs. Again, this is Randy uh, Schuneman with Bulldog Rooter along with uh, David uh, Lane and Levi Kathman at uh, 1523 South Adams Street. That will conclude your video inspection. Thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter.